end of the school year. And on paper, the online school has one of the worst graduation rates in the state. It's around 53%. But faculty says those numbers don't tell the whole story. Paul Nelson joins us live in the newsroom with more on this tricky situation. And Paul, why does the school staff think it should be allowed to stay open? Well, one of the biggest reasons is because they accept kids who have struggled in the traditional public school system, Landon. Many of them come to Nevada Connections Academy already in danger of flunking out. So when they don't graduate on time, or not at all, the school gets the blame. And you're going to do your portfolios. Yeah, I get to do those over Christmas <laughs> break. Alexis Egbert is a junior at Nevada Connections Academy, catching up after falling more than a year behind in a traditional public school. In seventh grade, I started slacking. I didn't want to do the work. I wanted to fit in and be a cool kid. By her freshman year, she was drinking and doing drugs and quit doing schoolwork. She was also the victim of bullying. After a while, I just couldn't take it anymore. She enrolled in Nevada Connections Academy in the middle of her sophomore year with only two high school credits. These are the students that we are helping on a daily basis because they are getting one-on-one -on -one attention. Many of the students here are as much as two years behind when they enroll here. And the Nevada Connections Academy is penalized when they don't graduate on time. And we will graduate them as quickly as we can, but it's likely not going to be on their expected graduation date because they came to us behind. Good morning, everyone. The online high school's graduation rate is 110th out of Nevada's 117 high schools and could be shut down by the state public charter school authority. But that could face legal challenges. State law does allow them to consider closing a charter high school based on the high school graduation rate. It does not allow for them to close an entire K through 12 school. Officials say when you look at students who attend all four years of high school at Nevada Connections Academy, the graduation rate is right around the state average of about 73 percent. Near says overall the numbers are far from black and white. We don't look at our students as numbers. We look at our students as human beings. And each one of them has a story and there's a reason why they're at our school. Students like Alexis, who's getting A's, B's and C's. She hopes to graduate on time next year. Not only has the grades gone up, but also my outside school life's kind of gotten better. There's not any drama and like I get closer with my family. The Charter School Authority could not comment because of ongoing litigation, but in a press release said, quote, put simply, there is little difference in the observable characteristics, special education eligibility, overage, under credit status, adjudicated youth status, et cetera, of students at Nevada Connections Academy than at traditional public high schools across the state. Now, there are about three, the authority could uh, make the decision this Friday at TMCC, about 3,000 students attend the online school throughout the state with more than 100 people on staff. Covering School Watch live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.